I think what's valuable about Duke Anesthesiology in the end is really its commitment to career development. It's not just about the four years you spend with us. It is about the rest of your life. This is the crown jewel. The residency is the heart and soul of education uh, in our department in this institution. I chose Duke primarily because of the people who are here. The best advice I got starting this process was to find the people that you wanted to surround yourself with and who you wanted to become. And between the staff, the faculty, the leadership here at Duke, I just saw so many examples of the type of doctor I want to be. Duke Anesthesia Program is definitely ranked in the top five of the nation. In the Duke Health System, we do roughly 180,000 cases uh, from ambulatory to inpatient to even sick ICU patients. We're a huge hospital. We have over 70 locations where we practice anesthesia off-site and on-site. So at the Duke Regional Hospital, we deal with more bread and butter uh, simpler cases. So as an anesthesia resident, we can definitely work on our uh, efficiency and turnover times. At the regional hospital as well, um, efficiency is very key because they do a lot of ambulatory surgeries. Um, we also do a lot of regional anesthetics and blocks there. Um, at the VA, uh, the veterans have their own sick population and a lot of folks that have had uh, war-related injuries, so they also uh, constitute a very unique population that we get to take care of. And of course, at here at Duke, we have a spectrum from very healthy to very sick patients. We've very purposely kept our residency program mid-sized or medium-sized, so as of last year we have 15 spots per year for residents. And the combination of so many complex cases with a medium-sized program is that we really have our pick of which cases residents get every day. And the chief residents will sit down the night before, go through the cases, and assign residents to cases to maximize educational value. So we take a lot of pride in that. When I was interviewing for programs, I wanted to come somewhere we see lots and lots of really sick patients, and we definitely have that at Duke. We do basically every single transplant, hearts, lungs, livers. First week of cardiac, I had already done a lung transplant and a cardiac transplant. Well, I'm a researcher. I did a PhD up in Boston before I came here. And so I needed to be in a program that could support my research as well as my clinical training. And there aren't that many, maybe four or five in the whole country, and this one was by far the best fit for me. I think that this is a department where mentorship is just really taken seriously. And so you're going to have a lot of different mentors for different aspects of your career. And that's just the nature of things here. We have a nice uh, sort of breakdown between single folks and people who are married. Um, and I also feel as though we are pretty, even though it's a class of 15, I think that's a nice sweet spot in terms of a residency class because we're all super close and um, I hang out with my friends who have kids and I hang out with my friends who, have, who are single and I think there's ample things to do within the research triangle area. I love Durham, um, also one of the big sells of the program to me. Um, Durham has changed a lot even in the past 10 years since I was an undergrad here. I think it's a really easy place to live as a resident. We live very well on a resident salary. There's lots of fun things to do in Durham. It's a really up and coming area. Lots of really great restaurants, lots of great outdoor spaces. You're pretty close to the beach, pretty close to the mountains. There's just a lot to do in this area that people don't realize until they get here and that was certainly the case for me. <laughs> Social calendar is um insanely full, like I can't even make it to all the stuff that they have planned. There's at least one thing a month, there's just tons of stuff. We have a yearly uh, event at the Durham Bowls Park every year where we rent out an area and have our faculty, staff, and uh, residents and fellows join us. I think residents like the, that sense of uh, family and support that they get, not just among each other, but that feeling, they also get the same feeling from faculty members. Having a medium-sized program in a large department in an even larger medical center affords residents the opportunities of being well-known by faculty, of being approached by faculty, mentored by faculty, um, guided by faculty, and again, not just through residency, but throughout their career. It's not just about showing up to work and getting the job done. It is, there is an element of compassion that falls into it, compassion to not just our patients, but compassion to each other and trying to see how we can build that family because we want the family to stay together for years. I need every member of that family to build that 100-year vision. Go Duke! Go Duke! Go Duke! Go Duke! Go Duke! Go Duke! Go Duke. Go Duke. Join us here at Duke.